Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see here on our website or on our social media. Reach out to me directly, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we are discussing a 2015 release that is classic Zinn. Zinn Spezialuren of Frankfurt is best known for its 1990s EZM-1, the Mission Timer 1, and the EZM-3 that we have right here captures the essential style, look, and spirit of the EZM-1 while incorporating many of Zinn's modern proprietary technologies. So this watch, which is in stainless steel, media blasted, is 41 millimeters, though that's 41 millimeters at the bezel. The case itself is a bit more compact. It's also reasonably slim for a Zinn sports watch at 11.8 millimeters by 47.2 millimeters lug to lug with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Throw it on the wrist, my wrist 16 centimeters in circumference, and this watch easy to wear. I own the Zinn EZM11, which is 43 millimeters, and that watch is both larger and thicker. This one, a little bit more compact, is more likely to fit underneath a dress sleeve or a suit jacket sleeve than the 1-1. You can also see that because the lugs are relatively short cropped, this is a timepiece that will wear well on a small wrist. A wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference. Let's take a look at the hardware and the software. As you can see, calfskin, thickly bolstered with a folded edge and a contrasting stitch on the underside. You can see that it is calfskin and it is a brand new Zinn factory strap. Double calfskin and very substantial. It's equipped with a matching media blasted stainless steel Zinn branded pin buckle. Now the case is very, very similar to the EZM1 and the 1-1. And I can prove as much by showing you my EZM1-1. They're almost body doubles with the exception of the fact that my watch is a bit chunkier and girthier than this elegant EZM3. You have those classic Zinn lug profiles. They're not quite Carrera lugs because the Carrera features an integration of lug and case, whereas there's a distinct step between the case flank and the lug here. You'll also note that one of the undersold virtues aesthetically of these lugs is that they are nicely beveled. They're angular, but they're not rough. They're not crude. They're not ill-hewn. They have a lot of nuance to them, right down to the use of media blasted rather than brushed or polished steel. Now there are little sheer guards for the crown, which here is a screw down. The watch is 200 meters water resistant and a knurled profile for the bezel, which in aviator style, and after all Zinn is an aviation company, but it is a bi-directional bezel. So while you can use it for timing, it's not strictly speaking a dive bezel. It is a mission timer. Einsatzzeit Messe, just like the original EZM-1. So this bezel is best used for timing and as you can see it is a countdown bezel it starts at 60 and it gradually counts down so you know how much time remains in your mission and of course you can always set it to a number like 50 or 45 depending on how long a period you wish to time now if you're not paramilitary police or German Federal Customs Enforcement Unit? Well, all the same. You can use it for timing fish tacos on the grill, as I like to say, the most time-sensitive of tacos, or the kid's timeout. There is a anodized insert for the bezel, and I found that in reality, you never mark this thing unless you really abuse your watch. I've been wearing this watch for three years. I don't have a single mark on that anodized insert. It's a durable setup. You'll also note that the dial is no nonsense. Matte black with high contrast printed features. It uses the brightest grade of Superluminova, which has a little bit of a key lime tint to it. There is a date window down there, and you can see the AR, which historically for the EZM-1 in the 90 would have been argon, but today AR means it is an anti-humidity feature that's anchored by a nitrogen fill. Nitrogen is pumped into the case and a small copper sulfate capsule is screwed into the flank. The nitrogen is used to evacuate any moisture or oxygen that might be in the watch as manufactured, and the copper sulfate capsule, which is replaceable during service, will pull any additional moisture out of the interior as the watch ages. Now, the movement inside has been hot rodded by Zinn. It uses a basic ETA 28242 architecture, which means automatic winding, 25 joules, 38 hour power reserve, stop seconds, and a quick set date. It beats away at 4 hertz, but it also has a soft iron inner cage like a Rolex Milgauss, so it achieves 80,000 ampere per meter anti magnetism, which is literally Milgauss. This is a timepiece that is iconic of its manufacture. If you want to own the Zinn, then you want an EZM1 11 or this EZM3. Thinner than either the 1 or the 11, this is also the more versatile watch. Email tmaso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. And we're back with the EZM-3.